Hey everybody, <laughs> surprise, surprise. I am live here on my Facebook page, which is pretty rare. I would typically do this when I'm testing out to go live on LinkedIn. But you know what, I'm, I'm considering moving the show. In fact, um, someone actually called the LinkedIn editors to let them know that I was gonna move the show off of that platform. The engagement is really low. They changed the algorithm. So I'm really considering bringing it to Facebook. And since Facebook is having a difficult time with live broadcasting in my Facebook groups, I decided, why don't I just go on my main page and have a conversation here with you? So I will wait for some people to join and we'll do some live Q&A. And I'll also coach you through some things because you know what? We are facing some unprecedented upheaval and uncertainty and change right now and we're all feeling some kind of way so let me give it a couple of seconds and see if somebody might join i know i did this with no warning and um yeah i am in my office uh, but again facebook isn't allowing me to use my cameras i'm using my device right now uh, i got a decent shot so i figured i'd go forward with it how's everybody today anybody gonna join I hope you are well, I hope you are healthy, I hope you are safe. You know what, for some of us, it's a harrowing time, but you know what, right before big change happens, big pain happens. And this is why, now more than ever, you need to be a rock star leader because the world needs us right now. There's some leadership gaps, and I see somebody join. Make yourself known. I'd like to say hi. How are you doing? I see one view. I don't see who it is, so you need to shout me out in the comments so I can know you're here. Um, but yeah, we are facing some unprecedented times, and so many of us wake up each and every morning feeling some kind of way. Whether it's good one day, bad the next, sad the next, mad the next, the whole range of emotions. I know I felt them. How about you? Shout me on the comments so I know who's, who's here. Uh, okay, well, I'll just get going because you know what? This video will be available to you even afterwards. I shared with you guys a rock star leadership tip of the day. Today, I just want to ask you this. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? In, in the context of this, because of everything that's going on right now, the tendency is to wait and see what happens, to wait to see what's next, to wait to see what someone else will do. Hey, Shanae, how are you doing? Good to see you. To wait, our tendency is to wait. And so, you know, we have plans, we have dreams for our lives. And yeah, sometimes things get delayed. They don't always go exactly when we want them to. Hey, Adrian, good to see you. I'm going live on the page today because for some reason, Facebook um, has a broken page or something on the Facebook community, uh, coaching community. But look, what are you waiting on? It's a really good question because in this unprecedented time of change and upheaval, it's what we call a smoldering crisis. Do you know what that means? So there's an acute crisis, very much like 9-11, where those planes, unfortunately, flew into those buildings. Bam, 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 okay? Tower one, tower two, the Pentagon. And it was over, but we had all the fallout. Acute crisis, okay? Hey girl, good to see you, Shanae. It's so great. And I'm glad your mama's feeling better, by the way. I got the news. I'm glad. But listen, then there's a smoldering crisis. And guess what? We're in a smoldering crisis right now. Arguably, there are three. One, the pandemic. We don't know what's next with that. In fact, people are saying that, the researchers are saying, the scientists are saying that some of these protests may be super spread events. We don't know much about this disease, this virus, and as much as people are trying to be safe, wearing their mask, wearing their gloves, it may still spread because people are gathering, they're hugging, they're, they're in close quarters, and lots of them. So the pandemic is actually one of those smoldering crises. You know what smoldering crisis is, number two? Well, this one goes all the way back to 1691. 
Smoldering crisis is how black Americans have been treated in the U.S., culminating with George Floyd. Yeah, for many of us, we've all felt like the system, white supremacy, has had their foot on our neck. I mean, we know the phrase, and we literally saw that with our eyes. We don't know when that's going to end. Plus, on top of it, there are protests. Rightfully so. Protesting. And I hope that you're using your gifts in whatever way that you can to show that Black Lives Matter. They do. And maybe we'll get some change, but we don't know when the end of that will be. Then there is smoldering crisis number three. I think you saw him come out of the White House, say a few words, stand in front of a church, and hold up a holy book. Um, many of us consider that to be a smoldering crisis. We don't know how that's going to end as much as we want to affect change and go and vote. But we have upheaval and uncertainty and challenges stacked on top of each other. And my joke is this. I don't know. Are we looking for the zombies next? I will tell you, I'm ready. At this point, I'm ready. Bring them on because I don't know how much worse it's going to get. But are you feeling this? So have you allowed all of this to make you stop and say, well, gee, I think I need to wait until this is over to do whatever it is that you're planning or dreaming. I'm here to challenge you to identify exactly what it is that you're waiting on. And then ask yourself, why am I waiting? Why are you waiting? Because guess what? It's never a good time, have you noticed? We don't know when this is going to end, so do you cancel your dreams? Hi Roy, nice to see you, go frogs. Do you delay your dreams? Hey Gabrielle, hey cousin, how are you doing? Hey Paul, good to see you. Do you defer your own dreams? Because at the end of the day, guess what? It's our decision. We can't blame it on much else. Zombies, yeah, girl. <laughs> Pestilence. You know, some people were talking about those hornets. I never saw a hornet. I hope I never see a hornet. But, yeah, it's like the plague is here and we're looking for the locusts to come next. I understand. But do you allow that as long as you are healthy and safe and you have the means? Some of us are just sitting at home working. Some of us are just sitting at home. And it's not that the money is dried up. We're just sitting and waiting. So I ask yourself, what are you waiting on to start that project, to do that thing? I had a conversation with a friend. And, you know, this is one of the questions I ask people when I first meet them. What was your dream? What did you dream about when you were in high school, junior high school, even younger? What was your dream? And this young man told me he wanted to fly. And I said, well, wow, that's exciting. He wanted to fly a plane. I said, well, what are you doing to make that dream happen? He said, oh, I don't know. You know, at some point I thought about doing it and I had an opportunity. And then the next thing he tells me, he went on a whole course and flew a Cessna. He learned how to actually handle the plane. But there he was sitting at home during the pandemic saying he was bored. So I asked him, what can you do to move your dream forward during this time where you have this extra time? You know what he said to me? I don't know. And he hadn't considered it and he wasn't going to consider it. Blew my mind. You know when you have a little extra time on your hands and you're of sound mind, sound spirit, good health, what's stopping you other than yourself? So I challenge you to go after your dreams, because your dreams, as my pastor has said, are not canceled. Only you, you can do that, right? Or if you're not living, if you're not here on this earth, that's the only time your dreams are canceled. It might take a little extra work. It may take a little extra money. It may take a little extra something. But as long as you have breath in your lungs and the ability of your limbs, you can go after it. So that's my challenge for you today. Answer the question, what are you waiting on? Answer that question and do everything in your power to get that obstacle out of your way. 
That's all I have for you today. And I look forward to going live more on Facebook on my main page. I hope you're all well, safe, and happy. And guess what? We're going to get through this. And we're going to be better for it. See you online.